Local News at 5, your local news leader. Good evening, Montana, and thank you for joining us. I'm Taylor Chase. And I'm Ty Hawkins. We start tonight with the news from the High Line, where nearly 1,000 people are still without power from Monday's record-breaking storm. Our Melinda Zosh joins us live in the studio. And Melinda, how are people coping? Taylor, I'm told that more than 100 Northwestern Energy employees are working through treacherous, wet, drifty snow right now. And the entire Rocky Boy Reservation, or 900 homes and about 5,000 people, are dealing with the aftermath of Monday's storm. And many are stuck in their homes until help arrives. And if you notice that little hole right there, that was a snow cave where these dogs were stuck in. And I had to get them out with a cookie sheet the other day because my shovel is inaccessible. This video you're seeing was shot by Jim Swan. He lives just five miles from the Rocky Boy Agency, where up to three feet of snow was dumped earlier this week, leaving residents like Swan stranded and snowed in. There were bombs at least uh, three feet to in some places six to eight feet high on the roads. The snow is also heavy and wet making it nearly impossible to plow. And that's one of the difficulties in plowing, that it's it's not a easy snow to get, remove. It piles up on your blades and you, uh, you end up getting stuck. If we're going through a four foot snow drift, the bottom eight to 12 inches is just slush and water. Right now, White says that some roads are open, including one from Rocky Boy to Box Elder. However, since the snow is so slushy, plow trucks are moving only 100 feet of snow an hour. And then we'll start working on cleaning out individual driveways and uh, uh, farmers and ranchers that are stuck, uh, you know, quarter mile, half mile off the roadways. And the conditions have also knocked over power lines. Northwestern energy crews are on the ground right now, working to repair those poles and restore energy to the rest of its customers. We have brought in some specialized trucks with, you know, kind of tracks on that can go over snow pretty well. And we've been using those where it's appropriate. Northwestern Energy is asking that its customers call them if they're still without power. The best number to reach them is 1-888-467-2669. Now, there are also shelters and feeding stations set up in Hayes right now. For more details, head to our website, kfbb.com. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Melinda Zosh. Taylor.